The Texas Gigafactory is currently in the early stages of production. Experts calculate that it usually takes 9 to 12 months for a factory to reach high output. In contrast, Elon Musk doesn't think so. He confirmed that Giga Texas will probably hit its stride of output around the third quarter of this year, even though Giga Texas can produce up to 2,000 vehicles per day at the time of the confirmation. So, how can Giga Texas be able to produce electric cars at such lightning speed? Stay tuned to find out more. But before we begin, please show your support by subscribing to our channel and ringing the bell so you won't miss any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, without any further delays, let's get started with today's content. The Texas Gigafactory applies the most modern and advanced machines in production. And this building is the, the, the most advanced car factory that Earth has ever seen. Indeed, Giga Texas now has a secret weapon that boosts Tesla's electric vehicle production capacity by 200% in a short time, making other major automakers covet it. That's the huge die casting machine, Gigapress. Giga Texas owns three Gigapress 6,000 ton models and one Gigapress 8,000 ton model, with a maximum operating capacity of 73.1 tons per day per machine. They have a cycle time of around 80 to 90 seconds, which translates to an output rate of 40 to 45 completed castings per hour, or about a thousand castings per day. At peak manufacturing speed, it's estimated that an average Model Y takes only 44 seconds to be produced in the Giga Texas factory. Also, the Model Y's bold one-piece die-cast body, new structured battery design, and Tesla Vision self-driving system, which does not require radar sensors, add to simplifying the manufacturing process and save production time by a lot. Having four huge die-cast machines shows how serious Tesla is in reaching its 20,000 per week vehicle production goals in promoting capacity production of Giga Texas in the future. Meanwhile, Volkswagen's Swakow plant in Germany is producing just a thousand new electric cars per day. Moreover, at present, Tesla says its production lines are over 85% automated. The main contribution to the speed of Tesla's production line is the deployment of a large number of automation robots. A total of 450 robots are deployed on one Model Y production line. Tesla CEO Elon Musk even claimed that we are pushing robots to the limit in terms of the speed that they can operate at, and asking our suppliers to make robots go way faster. And they are shocked because nobody has ever asked them that question. Not only that, Tesla's 4680 battery production line also contributes to the rapid production speed of the factory. In fact, the company has shared some footage of its next generation 4680 battery cells being produced. Tesla's video of its 4680 battery production line suggests that the company's level of automation has reached levels that have never been seen before. Unlike traditional battery manufacturing facilities, this 4680 battery production line from Tesla is largely absent of workers. If Tesla has indeed created a hyper-automated system to produce its 4680 battery cells, the company could very well end up widening the gap between itself and its competitors even further. After all, traditional automakers today are still utilizing modular battery packs that would require a notable degree of human assembly. In particular, Giga Texas will soon put into use humanoid robot Tesla Bot in the near future. It'll help the factory increase the production capacity of electric vehicles many times over. A source unveiled that it's possible that Tesla secretly tested the Tesla Bot prototype on the Texas Gigafactory floor. Tesla Bot will have to carry out various commands given to it by a person, from simple requests to more cumbersome tasks. For instance, going to the store for groceries. It'll be very interesting to see almost all the workforce at the Giga Texas factory as the mighty Tesla Bot team. That'll really open a new era in the world's manufacturing industry. Another factor that helps Giga Texas manufacture electric cars so fast is that the facility in Austin builds everything under the same roof, 
from batteries and motors to the final cars rolling off the production lines. Accordingly, unlike other factories, parts of electric vehicles are also manufactured on the spot, making Giga Texas one of the most vertically integrated factories in the car industry. Elon Musk oversimplified the whole production process in just nine words. Raw materials in, bunch of stuff happens, car out. It proves that Tesla took a lot of lessons learned from the Fremont factory in California where the buildings were all separate. There is a lot of movement between the buildings, so all production processes at Giga Texas take place under one roof, which not only saves employees traveling time at the Giga Texas factory, but also reduces other redundancies. Kevin Pathrath, a financial analyst, commented about Giga Texas, saying, They are bringing raw materials into this factory. They're not shipping in batteries. They're not shipping in motors. They're putting everything together in this plant. Additionally, one of the secrets about Giga Texas's fast production ability that few people know is because of the extremely productive work schedule of the workers at the factory. According to a close Tesla source, the automaker reportedly started with just a single shift, though it's longer and runs for more days than the Giga Texas factory's usual situation. Particularly, a former staff at Tesla Giga Texas unveiled that workers have started working at night and they're going to be doing three shifts so that they can work 24-7. This is essentially going to double the productivity of the factory. Tesla's focus on accelerating Giga Texas factory production is so intense that experts predict that Giga Texas will surpass Giga Berlin's speed. On top of that, Giga Texas is also gradually moving towards self-sufficiency in the supply of raw materials for battery production. The electric vehicle maker is diversifying its battery material suppliers and is ready to strike a deal to reduce its over-reliance on battery materials from China. This will help shorten the waiting time for raw materials for battery production to be imported from China. The Biden administration is also taking measures to help electric vehicle manufacturers secure the battery supply chain. President Joe Biden specifically is building on his electric vehicle goal with a $3 billion investment, which he revealed on Monday aimed at boosting the U.S. supply of lithium-ion batteries. The move is aimed at fighting climate change, but also to make the U.S. more energy independent and secure, officials said, as Russia's invasion of Ukraine has disrupted global oil markets. The funding will support grants aimed at building, retooling, or expanding the manufacturing of batteries and battery components, as well as establishing battery recycling facilities, according to the Department of Energy. The grants will be funded through President Joe Biden's $1 trillion bipartisan infrastructure law, which includes more than $7 billion to bolster the country's battery supply chain. The Infrastructure Implementation Coordinator and Senior Biden Advisor, Mitch Landrieu, told reporters, To help make electric vehicles work, we need to also increase the production of lithium-ion batteries and we need responsible and sustainable domestic sourcing of the critical materials used to make lithium-ion batteries such as lithium, cobalt, nickel, and graphite. And that's it for today's episode. We'd like to take this time to thank you for your support of Tesla Car World. Our content continues to improve in quality all thanks to viewers like you. So if you have any thoughts about the episode, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. And as always, if you enjoyed our video, Please do give us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell so you won't miss out on the next video. Once again, we thank you so much. From all of us here, we hope to see you again next time. Until then, have a good one and be safe.